this video starts, they, I want to say this is my first trip uh, anywhere really outside of my city. I uh, took the RV out and I'm diagnosed with a severe anxiety disorder. So leaving my house, going out, doing anything is like gets my everything ugh, all the time. And uh, I was taking this drive down. Keep in mind, my RV, it's 37 foot. But, and it's 12 foot tall, so it catches wind, it catches all sorts of stuff. Um, it takes up a whole lane, like you can't budge anywhere. And so, it's, uh, it's a handful. And uh, on this trip, I was checking my, uh, checking my pulse uh, most of the time. My pulse is like at 130, 135 the whole time. Uh, but on the trip back, on the way back, that it was... Uh, much better, a lot easier, more calm. So, just want to throw that out there before before this video starts. So, uh, here's I went to my aunt's house down in uh, down in Kansas. So, let's get this video going. All right, we're gonna be on our way on our first trip in the RV. That uh, not gonna make a very far trip. I'm just headed to my aunt's house. It's about three hours away. It's down in Wichita, Kansas. Look at that, every time, every time you see that, every time, anyway, so we're going to head down to Wichita, it's about a three hour drive, so wish us luck, we'll try to get some, some video on the way down, and we'll definitely get some video while we're there, the, the, my family down there is crazy as hell, so we'll definitely get some video, but yeah, we're going to make our first trip. Made it down to my aunt's house, which is a interesting drive, to be honest. Uh, mainly because I've never driven this thing at a far distance, which was a pretty good experience. That uh, when I was driving on the highway, as semi trucks, mainly semi trucks, as they would pass me or I'd pass them, I'd catch their draft or their the wind changing them and kind of like swerve me in different places, but. Uh, nothing real major, didn't have any problems or anything. Uh, roads were clear all the way here. Uh, once I hit, um, like the smaller highway parts, they, there was hardly anything on the road. Just threw crews on and I was booking it. So, it took about three and a half hours. I was only doing 70, the speed limit was 75. I was kind of cruising along. So, but yeah. I'll, uh, I'll see if any of them want to be in the vlog. But, who knows. But letting know I, get, I made it, and uh, I'm almost out of gas. I, I used about a half a tank to get here, um, but I think I was running the RPMs pretty high, at uh, 70 miles an hour. So if I was, if I had it lower and kind of just cruising more, that uh, I think I would have saved more. But uh, yeah, so far, so far, so good. Had our first night in the RV. Kind of, it's still nighttime actually. It's like 4 a.m. Uh, didn't sleep very well. It took a while to get to sleep. My bed's actually super hard. Molly. But Molly was running around all night. And uh, I didn't put my, I didn't put my, uh, what are they called, levelers down? I just woke up. So I didn't put my levelers down because I'm on like a gravel driveway thing. So it, just, it would just wobble. So it's kind of pointless. But, uh, Overall, pretty good, pretty good night. Um, once I got to sleep, it was pretty good. Getting to sleep was the hard part because it's just a new, it was new, new area, new bed. So, and I'm almost out of LP gas. I decided to run the heater all night. So, but I figure for one night, We'll be good. So yeah, that's uh, my first night in the RV. Yeah. 